Hello, everybody. Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever time it is for you. Whenever you find this video, it is meant to find you. We are in the midst of one of the biggest transformations um, in history, right? In history. A lot of people are aware at this point that we are in a massive shift, right? Changes, changes upon you, changes in frequency. We have so many changes. There are so many components of the self that are can be overwhelming right now, and we may not understand all of them. Um, but right now, I need to talk about something very important. It's about victimhood consciousness, okay? As we go through this shift or what is truly the return of Christ. Okay, that's really what it is. It's the return of Christ. Um, as we continue to go through this return of Christ shift, okay, you're going to find all of that on this channel, by the way. This is not a normal channel, okay? So I, 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 I'm hoping that you come here and you let your guard down a little bit and you take the time to get to know this channel because... There's a playlist on this channel you will find. And over the last five years in my own awakening, these things have been happening through me because nothing happens to us. Okay. That brings me back to victimhood consciousness. The reason as we rise and awaken, we go through a level of victimhood consciousness is because of what the matrix was designed to do to us. Okay. Um, everything that happened throughout history has been a lie. They feed you so many lies. They want you to believe all of these things that are not true, okay? Um, even including and not limited to the power of you, okay? So for many years, we have had many years, many lifetimes. There is this veil. We come to this planet and we cannot see things clearly. That was not created by God, by the way, okay? Okay. Um, the veil was not created by God. And in the return of Christ, it's part of what I've undone. And it also goes back to Mount Shasta. Okay. You're going to find the clearing of Mount Shasta part one and two on this channel. What that is and what that meant. You'll find the activating of pyramids. The very first one was Fiji. So I cleared Mount Shasta part one way back in like 2019, 2020. And then I cleared Fiji and in Fiji was the God portal. And eventually I returned the all seeing eye, the collective consciousness back to God. And that is what undid the false veil. Okay. So they had you under this guise, under this control of the mind. That's why they call it 666 mark of the beast. Okay. They would gain your, your power and control. Okay, and they would do this through lies, through keeping you divided, religion. God calls it religion, not religion, because it was all a false pretense, all right? Even the depiction of the cross was false, and this is relative to the victimhood consciousness, okay? So hear me out. I can, I, there is so much proof on this channel of the return of Christ, um, but unfortunately, a lot of people don't like to push past that resistance, right? So we are currently in a great reset of mankind. Because even throughout the return of Christ, there's been a lot of judgment, which is not of God at all. They tell you it is, but it's not. And a lot of lack of ability to push past that resistance. Because the matrix likes to leave you powerless, okay? They like to leave you powerless. Hmm, one that you except the thing about that is is you are all well most of us that are here um we're fragmented pieces of god god resides within our heart mysticism mystique um jesus in his lifetime but remember there's multiple lifetimes of god okay it wasn't just jesus but that is the one that we focus upon because of religion not that it wasn't real because it was I know because I resurrected Jesus and Mary Magdalene and undid the Holy Grail on Christmas Day of 22. I brought down the anointing of the blood of Christ, which was actually bringing down the blood of Jesus, the blood of Christ, um, all of the Christ light. So it's all been done. So things are changing in such a mass frequency and in such astonishing 
energetic bases um, that, you know, there are multiple components needing to understand again of who we are. You are beautiful, fragmented, powerful pieces of God's light. And your goal, right, your purpose was to come back into the pure sovereignty of who you are in a form of unconditional love, because that is God. God is unconditional love. And so anytime you find yourself in a state of not in unconditional love, either throwing it at others or throwing it at yourself, um, fear, division, judgment, those kinds of things, all of the shackles that bind through the matrix, you are not in your power. Okay. You are being governed by the matrix, which will put you in a victimhood consciousness state of being. Okay. The matrix wants you in fear. They want you completely controlled and weak. Because if you're there and you're divided and you can't see the truth of who you are, then they have all your power. They have your power and your strength because they needed it because they fell from God. And that's why you'll hear people talk about the puppet master. There's a collective consciousness, just as we are all connected in the heart space, we're all connected in the head. And that is what the darkness would use against you. That is the 666 mark of the beast okay um and if you watch the birthing of the new earth and the entirety of the return of christ you're going to see this unfold you're going to see the ways they control you and you will see the ways that the return of christ has brought back god and undid all 12 gates of those darkness energies okay so they get in your head and they make you think things that aren't true um, they're based in fear. They're based in ego. They're based in greed, money control. They're based in judgments and division and all of these things. And it's and you choose to pick them up. So this is where victimhood consciousness comes into play because the thing about it is, is nothing happens to you. You're not a victim. Everything can only happen through you because you have free will. Okay? So... Having that veil where we couldn't see, which was, wasn't created by God. So don't, you know, don't assume that it was. God didn't do that to anybody. God is not out to punish. Um, basically, everything was stolen. The soul of Jesus was stolen. And that's what I spent over uh, many years taking back my twin soul. Okay. Bride of Christ. It's all there. And I didn't know it was happening either at first. But that's what happened. And the true cross was really the unk. So they broke it. They, they, they ripped apart Adam and Eve's soul. And they did it over multiple lifetimes, which is why you have Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary Magdalene, and Sekhmet and Horus. But essentially what they did is they used mankind like their little puppets. So they get, to, they get you to give up your power. Okay. They would get you to give up your power. So that they can get control of your light, your frequency, your, your power, your energy, because you are a powerful creator. And they get you to believe in lack. They get you to have fear and all of these things and not see, not be able to see the powerful being that you are. Because when we're united through love, through the frequency of God, we are extremely powerful. That is when we are in our pure sovereignty. Money doesn't control us. Fear doesn't control us. We know we're powerful creators. We know the world around us is a reflection of us and we use it as a tool to, to heal us the whole way. Um, you know, we own our sovereignty. And what the matrix is designed to do is to keep you out of your sovereignty through money, through fear, through greed, through all of these things that are not love, unconditional and when you choose to pick those up, when you chose to give your power away multiple times and do things outside of your power and outside of God's unconditional love frequency, there's where the victimhood consciousness comes in. Okay. But you're not a victim, but they want you to think you are. Look at what they do with rents and mortgages and all of these things within the world. You are so controlled. You're controlled through money, through division, right? Because they don't want us together. They don't want us loving each other unconditionally because if we do that, we're too powerful. We will see everything clearly. 
and then they won't have power over you. Because again, nothing happens to you, my friends. Everything in the world, everything that's happening in your reality from your karmic play out was your choice to do it. And you would make the choice to try to come back and to rectify that and to get back your sovereignty. And a lot of times we never met our life's purpose because we couldn't see clearly. Um, there were times we would, right? But a lot of times we wouldn't. So we are, it's a power depletion, okay? Victimhood consciousness is based in a power depletion. Um, there are times when we're wronged. People do things that aren't good to us, okay? Um, we've been hurt. I have, okay? Um, we've, we've seen sorrow and carnage and trauma, yeah, I've been there too. Okay, we all have in some way, shape, or form at some point. Um, to live an absolute perfect life was very rare, right? Um, and you guys, they truly do lie to you about everything. From manifesting, which is why I have this book, New Earth Creating, the way we're going to do things in the new earth, the way things will be in the new earth is totally different. You have to be in your sovereignty, Okay. You have to know how to create the world around you. You also have to know how you give your power away. The only ones who are going to rise now because a lot of people were not trying to see past that resistance. So God ordered a great reset. He bypassed a lot of time and he put us in the karmic play out. Okay. So you can't have any karma to rise. You, you have to be able to see it all. You have to be able to rise against um, the shackles that bind you and rise against that resistance to unconditional love. And when you do that, you're taking your power back. You're not allowing them to control you because you know it's your free will they're using against you. Nothing, and I do mean nothing, can happen to you. Only through you. From, from carnage to karmic demise to uh, sicknesses, they only happen through you. There's a virus matrix wall which those who rose through my path to righteousness, I undid that for them. So they won't get sick while all these plagues are hitting. Um, we will have clean water when the clean, when the water is not clean anymore for the matrix side. Okay. That's the return of Christ. That's the anointing. That's all the work that I did. Um, because in every which way they were poisoning you, they were taking your power they took the power of the earth. They genetically modified our foods. The information that we had was all changed and modified, and it wasn't truth, okay? And in every lifetime, you chose through free will to allow that to dictate your choices and to take your power away from you. So those that will now rise will be in their full power, and they won't throw anything around that's not unconditional love. Right. Tough love is not unconditional love. Fear is not of God. Judgment is not of God. Okay. Money mm, should not ever control or hurt anybody. We shouldn't have to be guided by money. That's not of God. Okay. Because you are a powerful creator. Right. To be in the new earth, you have to be heart centered and imbalanced for prosperity, co creating with spirit, not with the shadow. Because we're not here alone, right? Um, and to ascend, you have to surrender a lot to the right thing. Surrender isn't giving your power away. There's a difference. Um, but people feel like it is. <laughs> because that's what the matrix does to you. So the matrix, um, because they keep you shackled, divided, in fear, low vibrational, controlled by money, controlled by all these things... You're, you're depleted of your power. They take your power away from you through free will. They get you to do things outside of a high vibration of love, outside of your power, because they want your power. That's the battle for your soul, okay? Um, it is self-sabotage based. So it comes from a state of lack, which you cannot manifest if you have any lack within your energy, because you manifest what you are, right? So if you're based in the shadow, you're going to manifest things within the shadow. If you're based in pure sovereignty and guided by love, unconditional money is not what guides you. Abundance is real, right? But that's the only way you're going to find abundance in the new earth is, is in the new earth now. So one must fully own their sovereignty. 
Okay. We give our power away too much um, to where we become pure depleted. We are power depleted. We have all, it's like you become drained. Okay. Which is where you get the victimhood consciousness. It's because you have not called your power back. You have not recognized where you're giving your power away which is why during the return of Christ's work, these were part of the healings and the courses that I've done. This was part of the return of Christ's work was to teach those who rose through me to give their power back. Okay. Because you have to do that. Lack, um, fear, all of these things are you giving your power away because you're a powerful creator. You create your reality period. Okay. Speak your reality into being, but you have to believe it. Um, and if you think you have to go work through the matrix and you have to be controlled and you have to be divided and judgments are okay in any way, shape or form, you are not in your full power. You are giving your power away to the matrix. Okay. But when you surrender and co-create with God, God wants you to be in your full power. Okay. God wants you to know how to create and to call it in and the universe will just help you do so. Right. That's the difference. Um, so one must call their power back in every way. Every time that shadow tries to get you to do something out of unconditional love, throwing judgments, um, believing the false veil, all of these kinds of things is you choosing to do so. You're free willing your power away to them. And so you must be able to call your power back by rising through, releasing all that is not um, getting past the resistance. Okay, which a lot of people unfortunately did not do. So a great reset has been applied. Okay. And right now we're kind of in this victim consciousness state. You are not a victim. And I'm not saying that things haven't happened to us. Okay. They have bad things happened to me many times in my lifetime. I didn't have a great childhood. Um, you know, I was bruised and battered and tattered. Um and when we're children, we kind of are the victim, right? Like we don't have a choice. No matter what, we can't create our reality as a child. But as you get older and your, your mental capacity is there, you have a choice, okay? And that is when your power is applied. And you must make the conscious choice to not give your power away anymore, to heal, to do what you need to do. Okay, to do what you need to do, whatever that means, to realign, to heal, to be in your power. Okay, so you have to call your power back. You have to recognize where you give your power away every step of the way. What is power? Um, you have to work to sell, ha set healthy boundaries. So the matrix bypasses your boundaries. They take your boundaries away from you. A lot of times we don't even understand healthy boundaries or the fact that, you know what, I don't have to be controlled and governed by the government and by the matrix. I don't have to play that game, but they don't make you think that, do they? There are a few people who escape it and what do they do? They'll come after you, okay? They would do everything in their power to take your power away from you. And if you don't comply, they would make, at times they would hurt people, but they would also make you believe they're going to. Okay, so that creates fear and all of these things. Um, look at the people who finally did defy, like Snowden and things like that, and they didn't let that stop them. Okay, they they made choices, they rearranged their reality, they protected their life and their source, and they stood up. Okay, look at what Trump's doing. Same thing. Okay, he trusted in God. He called in God. You know, he kept going no matter what, even against an assassination attempt and what might be more to come, right? We never know. So you have to work to set and understand healthy boundaries. That's another course I did in the Return of Christ work. Um, because we became, we became weak and depleted. We didn't understand healthy boundaries because in the matrix, we weren't taught healthy boundaries. We were not taught that. We were not taught what they are. Um, even as a child, a lot of times, like we were taught to cross those boundaries, um, to give our power away. And, and your parents would do it unbeknownst to what they were doing. A lot of times, some um, not out of love, but some out of what they thought was right, right? And then other times we truly were victimized as children when we didn't have the ability to control our reality. 
Um, so you grow up in an inability to understand boundaries, what healthy boundaries are, what you can and cannot accept in your reality. And then we're also not taught how to be in our full power and how to create the world around us and how past parity is really truly going to be able to come in. Because if your heart is not pure and wide open and your vibration is extremely high and co-creating with the pure love and sovereignty of who you are, you will not have prosperity. You cannot, you cannot rise. Okay. So you have to get out of this victimhood consciousness. You are not a victim. There, there is nothing stopping you, but you, nothing blocks your channel to God, but you and allowing the shadow to blind you. Nothing forced you into that veil. You had to accept it. So if every person on this planet at this time stood up against it and said enough, it would fall quicker than you know. The government wouldn't be able to govern and control you if nobody let it. Okay. So that's what they do. They want to take your free will. So they'll manipulate you to give it to them. Okay. They do it through fear and all of these kinds of things. And we somewhat become a victim because we are pure power depleted. We, we don't even realize we've given our power away. We don't even know we have that power. And I'm getting chills. So we don't even know we have that power to give away. We feel like we have to do that. That's what we have to do to live. I keep, there's another show that I was watching and it was like, your dreams are not practical. You cannot pay bills from dreams. That's what they want you to believe. Okay, your imagination was silliness and you better do this and that and the other to survive. And this is what they've done, okay? In every way, they've taken our power away from health to mental capacity to physical, just everything, which gets us out of balance with our alignment to God, okay? Um, you have to find your power. You have to understand everywhere you give it away. You have to be able to understand boundaries and how to set healthy ones, not too solid to where you let nothing in or you're afraid to be wounded because you're still not in your sovereignty at that point, okay? Because again, nothing, I repeat, nothing happens to you, only through you because you accepted it. And that's what they use against you. God gave you free will for a reason. That's why in the return of Christ, I was like, oh God, you know, I don't want to cause the world to do this, but God reminded me that it's rightfully ours. Okay. It was stolen. Um, my DM and I were tortured and ripped apart lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. There were three main lifetimes that I had to heal and bring back all of that Christ light and unite our souls through and undo all of this darkness and carnage and puppeteering control against all of the collective soul. And they use the power of God, the tools of God, the light of God, and the earth to do it to you. So it took many, and the sun and the moon, they messed those up too. They divided, they, they realigned them, Sekhmet and Horus, that was part of the return, okay? It was undoing the false ties to the sun and the moon, rearranging them, realigning them, realigning the poles. Like they did a lot to mess you up and to take away your power and your light but they couldn't do it to you unless you let them. So what you don't realize is a lot of mankind took part in ripping apart God because they kept giving their power away. They didn't push past that resistance and stand in their own strength, their own ability, their own ability to see, their own ability to have boundaries and protections and to know in their heart of hearts what, it, what they can do and can't do. They gave their power away, which brings about the victimhood consciousness. So even as you start to rise and you start to heal, or if the, the matrix all of a sudden just is taken away, like it doesn't have any power against you, unless you've healed enough and you've called your power back and you understand where you've given it away and you, you've taken back your power and pushed past the resistance in every way, you're going to feel like a victim. It's as if we were raped. And I know that's not a pleasant term, but it's true. They raped you of all your free will and power, but they couldn't do it without you agreeing to it. Okay? Because nothing happens to you, only through you. So if you're judging somebody, it's truly a reflection of you. 
Okay. If you think God would make you do something, that's not God at all. That's the matrix. And you would have to still accept it because they can't make you do anything that you don't agree to do. So they'll get you to think these scenarios. They get in your head, collective mind think it becomes like this sickness. And if you pick it up and you give it your power, it becomes more powerful over you. And then you feel weak. Okay. And then you de develop a state of victimhood consciousness, but you are not a victim. You didn't deserve what happened to you. I'm not saying that, but you also are the one who can change it and the only one. So even though I brought the return of Christ, I can't just pick you and put you over. You had to do it. You had to rise. You had to accept the undoing of those false disguises, the undoing of the karmic demises that you spent lifetimes creating. Okay. It's you. It's all through you and your purpose. Every life was to come back and realize that take your power back and find unconditional love because number one, how, who are you to judge anybody? You can't be perfect in a broken world. Do you understand that the masculine and feminine was ripped apart? So how can anybody feel healthy and whole on the inside when we're a part of that light? Okay. So you can't judge anybody. You're not perfect. I guarantee you that nobody is. I'm not perfect. God doesn't expect perfection. That's an illusion of grandeur. God expects unconditional love and nobody to go outside of that because that's him. That's the vibration of God. It's a masculine and feminine. It's not just a man. Adam and Eve. Okay. We forgot about Adam and Eve and we're just expecting Jesus, but Jesus wasn't even whole and complete. Jesus and Mary Magdalene, Adam and Eve and Sekhmet and Horus all have come back together. It's all a fragmented soul. Okay. Of a masculine and feminine component of God. And it has all been returned. And because I had to do that as well, every person on this planet needed to do that through free will to call their power back. You have depleted your power. You've given it all away, which is what created, creates the victimhood consciousness. But it's up to you to call it back. It's up to you to heal that. Nobody's going to do it for you. You can't sit here and wait to be saved. You save yourself by choosing to see beyond the veil, beyond the resistance, because it doesn't want you to take your power back. It's going to stop you the whole way. It's going to tempt you to do things outside of love, which is what you've done before. And it uses your weaknesses against you for where you don't stand in your power. Okay, so you need to understand everything that I've been doing helps you become the wholeness of you so that you could have risen into the new earth. But so many people, there's been so many people who didn't want to see past the illusion, who didn't want to stand in their full power. And some still won't. And they've done it even through religion. Okay, there should be no division none okay you know how many people they burned on crosses jesus didn't die on a cross they broke it because they stole his soul and they trapped all of mankind and they did it through his blood which is why in his death which is why the anointing of the blood of christ came about and if you're watching if you truly open up to watching those videos and you push past the resistance it would have been your mass awakening and healing the whole way but you had to choose to be in your sovereignty, not in fear of money and ego and judgments. No, you have to be in your full power. You have to be willing to stand against the collective judgment and testament outside of God. And have hope and faith and love and belief and co-creating with the universal flow because God has your back. God is good but you gave your power away. You gave your power away to the resistance, to the shadow and helped them undo what was God. Most people did. That's why most people have karma. Okay. Nobody's perfect, but it was time to rise into the perfection of God, the beauty of love. That's what it was about. 
true perfection is just unconditional love. You don't see through a lens of judgment or fear or ego, or I have to be better than you, or I know better than you. It's not God. You don't know better than me. And I don't want to know better than you. I just know what I've done and who I am and what God is and what God isn't. And when God ordered the great reset, he kept telling everybody because not a lot of love was given to the one who brought it about. Not even a lot of people wanted to see beyond the illusion um, and the confusion and the judgment and the greed. A lot of people were stuck in greed and arrogance. And he specifically said that a rule of thumb is unless you can see everything, and I do mean everything from who I am to what I've done to what he is to what's been done to the earth to the energy and more, there was work to do. Okay, so the, the victimhood consciousness is power depletion, um, self-sabotage based, right? All these wounds, all this not being in your worth, um, giving your power away creates the victimhood consciousness and it's in the collective consciousness because the matrix took all of your power away and got you to do things to take yourself away from god which is unconditional love which created karma okay so we give our power away too much we have to learn where we do that we have to understand power boundaries true boundaries true unconditional love and push past the resistance the whole way, standing strong no matter what tried to play out in your energy because no matter what presents itself to you, no matter what, I don't care how scary it looked, I don't care how overwhelming it was, I don't care. It was your choice to pick it up. Your choice to pick it up. It's your choice to stand in your power. It's your choice to be the creator that you are or not to. It's your choice to be governed by the matrix or to be guided and co-creating with love one is a victimhood consciousness but even coming out of the matrix there's a victimhood consciousness because you are power depleted you gave your power away nothing happens to you you are not a victim you have free will and you have power you had the power of god that's why they say you're all part of God, okay? You are fragmented pieces of that light meant to come back to the wholeness through unconditional love and full power of the createdness that you are. You are a powerful creator. And the only ones that are going to make it through now, especially, are not going to have karma keeping them apart. They're not going to be the ones throwing judgment at the return of Christ or anybody else. Because they know beyond a shadow of a doubt that everything works through them. They're an observer, not a spectator. These are all the things I talk about in this book. And then some. Pretty much every course I've done, the path to righteousness, helped you heal to the wholeness of you and back to the light of God. Including brought all your karma to the surface. Even the ones that other healers had you cut and burn ties to. Because you couldn't do that either. But they got you to do that through your free will. You have to understand the truth. Victimhood consciousness is because you have given your power away through free will. And it is up to you to see it, to heal it, to call it back, to realign and to be the wholeness and the powerful creator that you are. Not guided by money and greed and ego and fear and power control, but by love. Wholeness, connectedness, all connectedness. Everything you do affects the other. Christ consciousness, unconditional love. There are two worlds playing out. Which one are you a part of? Are you a victim or are you a powerful creator? Do you want to blame others for what is happening to you? Or are you going to own your power and realize it was everything you created? Unless you're a child, you have that power and you have that free will. We were supposed to protect our children, but we failed in that a large part too, because we didn't know either, right? Can't give power when you're giving yours away. Can't teach others to be in their power when you give yours away. We can't protect when we're not in healthy boundaries ourselves. 
Okay. So much love you guys. I, I'm hoping you can understand this more because we are in the new earth. In the return of Christ's work, I've already taken the earth into the portal of the Nile. We are in the final timeline. Those that will rise now are those who have no karma. They can see past all of this. They can see clearly to the light of the one. I am your guided light home. The rays of the sun, my diem is the moon. Horus, Sekhmet, Jesus, Mary Magdalene, Adam, and Eve. New earth has been born. Check out my Ascension playlist. It's all right there. From clearing Mount Shasta to activating pyramids to freeing Jesus' soul to the battle of my lifetime for my twin flame journey that almost killed me three times. Um, activating all pyramids, clearing all darkness, closing down all 12 gates of darkness, opening up the 13th into the new earth, undoing the crystalline grid, and so much more. Shifting the poles, taking us into 7D instead of 5D, the anointing of the blood of Christ, and the undoing of the Holy Grail on Christmas Day of 22 all plays out on this channel. But do you see love? Can you see it all? Or are you giving your power away and succumbing to the resistance? So much love. Till next time. Bye.